Just moments earlier, this boy was playing football with his cousins on the beach. Israeli naval ships fired, killing four of them, all under the age of 11. Witnesses say the beach was otherwise empty and the attack came out of nowhere. Relatives at the hospital where the bodies were taken were inconsolable. More mothers mourning the death of their children. It's a moment of pure grief, proof that in Gaza, nowhere is safe. This rehabilitation hospital for the disabled has been hit three times in the past week. The sound of airstrikes and artillery is near constant. Inside, patients lie helpless. All 14 have been moved to the ground floor after the upper levels were bombed. The Israeli army called the hospital warning of airstrikes, but the doctor in charge told us that with most either paralyzed or in a coma, moving them out was not an option. Since they hit the hospital, which is the, the most safest place that should be, it's not strategic uh, building, it's not a military building. If I'm not safe here, I'm not safe in the street. So I'm not leaving the hospital. Israel has vowed to step up the assault on Gaza. Prime Minister Netanyahu using Hamas's reluctance to accept a ceasefire as political cover to intensify the operation. Tens of thousands of leaflets have been dropped in northern and eastern Gaza by the Israeli army warning residents to leave. But while Israel keeps its northern border shut and Egypt closing the only escape in the south, there is nowhere safe for them to go. Some have found shelter in schools like this one in Gaza City. Here, children as young as 10 described how they've had to leave their homes for a third time since the war between Israel and Hamas in 2008. Each round of violence leaves scars that will haunt them for years to come. For now, Gaza is burying its dead. Another generation is paying the price for a war they have nothing to do with. Shirin Tadros, Sky News, Gaza.